Hey, everybody. It is Athens Clark County Mayor Kelly Gertz here coming to you on Monday, May 4th, 2020. I uh, hope you've been doing well. Uh, the weather is warming up and uh, in this challenging time, I know many of us have been learning new, some new skills. Um, by necessity, I have uh, gotten into the old school habit of hanging my laundry up on a line on my back deck as my dryer has been on the fritz off and on. And so uh, one of these weeks, I'm going to call Mr. Hurd uh, to get him to come repair the thing. Uh, but for now, we are continuing to socially distance and just uh, doing our own laundry on the line. And as I was hanging my laundry up this morning and uh, putting the pin on my jeans, uh, I was remembering that that was something that my mom did uh, just every day uh, when I was a kid. Um, and uh, had a particularly challenging incident once in second grade. Uh, was getting ready for school in the morning and uh, sliding on my tidy whities and lo and behold, right in the middle of my cheek was a bee. And uh, he got me good. He got me really good. Uh, you know, in, in retrospect, I, I thought that that welt was like the size of Stone Mountain. And you have to believe that subsequently for all the rest of my years, uh, when my mom pulled laundry off the line and put it in my drawer, uh, I check my shorts every time. And so what I'm emphasizing to all of you is that we now have to exercise as much caution every day as I exercised uh, when I pulled my shorts out of my drawer. Um, and so now is not the time to let up with good behavior. Um, this has been a fantastic community in terms of taking care of each other. So um, continue to keep your hands clean. And please, 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 when you're out in public around others, continue to wear your mask. Um, my own spittle is not attractive on my collar, and your spittle is even less attractive on my collar. And that's what we do when we wear a mask. We're protecting others. And um, so, for, uh, so for all my younger friends out there who are uh, still on the prowl for that special someone, uh, just think of the mask as sexy. This is a sign of your appeal. Uh, in fact, uh, I, I think I remember learning in a biology class once upon a time that um, what was attractive to most species is the notion that a potential partner, a potential mate, was going to live a long life and be healthy. Well, this means that your potential partner, your potential mate, is going to live a long life and be healthy. Um, because we know that it's going to take a while for treatments to evolve and certainly for vaccines to emerge. And so we don't want anyone to get sick at all. But if you're going to get sick, you want to get sick in an environment where there's great treatment. So uh, I want to leave you with that message. Uh, I want to give you a couple of other updates. Um, really in the same frame, if you are seeing people who are not behaving appropriately in terms of social distancing or businesses who are not encouraging appropriate social distancing, local governments are now enabled under the governor's order to enforce those orders. So if you go to www.accgov.com slash coronavirus, there's a text and a web alert so that you can let us know if you see inappropriate behavior because we want to continue to educate people. Um, we're in this for the long haul. We are running a marathon, not a race here. So please let us know if we can do a better job, um, whether it's that house of students up the street or that business around the corner from you. Um, I also want to let you know that the Joint Development Authority that we are forming with the city of Winterville uh, has places for resident members uh, among its membership. Uh, application for that closes Tuesday the 5th at the end of the day. So if you would like to be interviewed for a position on that Joint Development Authority, which is going to be the vehicle for providing some no-interest loans to small businesses, please go ahead and go on our website to apply for that. I also want to let you know about this Wednesday's, this coming Wednesday's community conversation. We're going to be speaking with Secretary of Labor Mark Butler, and he's going to talk about those individual unemployment needs that you may have that the Department of Labor continues to support. And finally, before I go, 
um, many of you have asked, what about some of our leisure services facilities? Um, we've had the trails open, the Greenway Trail and the Firefly, because we know people need to get out and you need to get some exercise, you need to get some fresh air, and you need to see some green. Um, we, in a structured way, over the coming weeks, are going to be opening up some other facilities. So I just want to let you know that we're working on that. So many of you have asked about that. Um, we probably will be focusing on those places where you safely can gather and safely can socially distance at first. So uh, be paying attention to this space. Uh, I'll make a further announcement in the next couple of weeks. Um, and yeah, be well, um, wish you health and safety, and that for your loved ones. Talk to you soon.